Hi, my name is Nick Graham, founder of Joe Boxer, but I've also got a new men's line coming out under my name. Just wanted to run through today what my inspiration comes from and the things that are important to me in, in men's dressing and style, which I call post-prep. And basically what I think is post-prep is taking the classic combination of British menswear styling or prep school styling and pushing it a little farther. So when it comes to pants, I really like the narrow fit, slightly rolled at the bottom, just to give you a peek of the sock. Kind of a mod look out of London in the 60s. You know, something that you can wear with a sport coat or just a t-shirt or just a rolled up white shirt. I like the jackets a little shorter, the lapels narrow, taping around the edge. It's a very traditional cricket style. It's slightly prep school, but it's also got this edge to it. And some of them usually come in greens or blues or burgundies, but I prefer the black because it really kind of makes a statement. Now, I want to talk about shoes. Not just any shoes and not just British clunky robes, but I'm talking about the updated Doc Martens patent leather with a rubber sole. It's incredibly comfortable and you can wear it all day. I like to wear white socks. And one of the reasons I like to wear white socks is because you lose one, you've got another one in your drawer. So that's easy. But it's also important and it's also fun to wear a patterned sock that pokes out underneath your pants, if you're wearing pants. <laughs> I think it's really important to have a sense of humor. It's not just about how you look, but also how you present yourself, how you kind of engage people, how you make them laugh. It's not the regular humor like a guy walks into a bar or a blonde walks into a bar and the other one ducks. Remember that one? One example of what I'm talking about in terms of post-prep is taking traditional ideas, which is, for instance, this traditional prep stripe tie, and adding what I call my Dog and Bones logo, which is a boxer based on dogs I've had since three years old, and then putting a polka dot tip behind it to kind of give you this surprise, this other element of surprise. And also on the tipping of the tie, there's a polka dot as well. And that's really what we're doing with, uh, with all of the accessories that we're taking traditional elements, paisleys, rep stripes, crests, and taking all those things and mixing them together to create this new dynamic, of which really is post-prep. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, you can do whatever you want, you can look however you want, but just have a good time doing it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.